standing in the shade but it is like a gorgeous sunny morning I took a really early train got here around 9 had a little breakfast and we're doing a cherry blossom marathon um, we are basically I have 12 hours here um, and then I'm getting on another train to Gyeongju and then spending the night we will have tomorrow in Gyeongju so it's gonna be a little nuts I can't see it's so bright um, it's gonna be a little crazy, but it should be really nice. Um, this is like peak cherry blossom right now. Today's the 27th, technically. I think the peak was guesstimated to be the 25th, 26th. So they're always right, and it bothers me because it feels like they shouldn't be. And then just like overnight, all the blossoms come out. It's amazing. But let's go. We're at Gwanganni, my favorite beach in Busan. And um, yeah, there's flowers, coffee, Good food in my future. I'm very happy. Let's go. <laughs> I just found that's just they're just perfectly lined they're just perfectly lined up with these cherry blossoms there were no cars for the entire time I was here until I started filming we're gonna get a cool drink um, and then we're going to head to an old favorite spot and just soak it all in we
never a dull day in Busan. Um, I'm at the, oh my gosh, you were so dirty, hold on. I'm at the Busan Democracy Park. And first of all, I had no idea we were climbing so high, so that was something. But then once we get here, there was a lost kid, but turns out, she just joined the other groups of like same age children who were here on like a school trip so we found the dad and it was very dramatic and then the kids were just so sweet because normally i don't enjoy it when little kids are like oh my god it's a foreigner or like especially when it's adults that are like whoa it's a foreigner but these kids the one boy was like oh it's a wagokin and then they all were like hello <laughs> so it was very cute and sweet um also there's i went i think off the trail but it seems like i'm still on the trail i don't know but i'm in the forest and there's like this cherry tree that has decided it wants to be tall like all the other pine trees observe can you see it like what's it doing silly and it's like has blossoms <laughs> to each their own um so yeah we're gonna head towards the this i this park is huge um we're gonna head towards the cherry blossoms and then chill out. One thing I did want to say, I was thinking about this on the bus, is that I think this just comes with like practice and, and learning how you like to travel and stuff like that, but something that I have been doing more this year with travel, oh, there's a cat, um, is remembering that there's no way that you can see everything and do everything in a city. So when you are trying to do that, you end up enjoying it less and so, I was going to go, I was gonna go here and then I was gonna go over to Naktong, which is a place that I went a couple years ago and it was amazing. But then it was just, I wasn't gonna have enough time to like really sit there. So I decided to just mark that off of my list, go another year and I feel much more calm and I'm just going to be able to mosey onto a random forest path if I wanted to, you know? Um, and I did that a lot in Vienna. I gave myself permission to just chill um same in Prague and I had a really great time so that's what I'm trying to do this year is still show you guys things but in a more relaxed manner <laughs> um and now I'm gonna try and show you the cats that are just lounging on the street and then cherry blossom time This was much more crowded than last year. Oh my God. Um, and it's honestly mostly tourists actually, which is interesting. Um, no one is speaking Korean. We're gonna head to Gwangani to hopefully see Adrian and just look at the ocean and then head to Gyeongju. This day has been so long, but so short. Um, Scrolling through my 
Oh, bless you. The city just always smells so strongly of pine. The second you get off the train, I am so happy. So I'm actually staying at a guest house that I've stayed at before. I'm just gonna check in and I'm so tired that I'm gonna go straight to sleep. Oh my God, that is a cat. Okay. Um, anyway, good night. Thank you, Busan. Welcome to Gyeongju. See you in the morning. What a magical place. Okay. And it would be alright to let me down. Rather we try than let these feelings slide. So I'm gonna dive, dive into you. It doesn't even make sense why we try to fight it. Every time that we touch, the room caught on fire. We could blame it on the wine, but we know that we were both. I wish I didn't want you I was doing just fine The way that it was Then you had me this emotion <laughs> These emotions didn't want them But I guess they don't suck with them They could go away But I know they won't And I should let it be I'm gonna die Good morning um, from Daerangwon, the main tomb area. Um, I got here about five minutes before it opened and there was an itty bitty line, um, but I don't know, I feel like there's a difference. Like the people who come here early and on time are like people who are photographers and so they're very respectful of like other people's space other people's time etc um so it's just like good vibes here and um yeah we're just walking around it is so beautiful it like never gets less stunning um i'm gonna walk around and then we are gonna get food and we are gonna get coffee and i just Take a right to my chest with new drawers 
So I just watched this Harmony jump over this gate, but now that I see the moon and stars, I just read this like kind of scary fantasy book last night. So I'm feeling like this is gonna be a spirited away moment. All right, well, check in with you later. Let's see how that goes. It's her fault. <laughs> today the 27th the 28th the allergies have hit the, the spring out I was walking around like especially in that flower field the yellow one I was thinking oh my god it smells so good and like I haven't smelled grass in a long time and like those yellow flowers are like used to grow behind my house in California so it was just like I was very happy and then I took like one sniff too many and now I'm all sneezy but I wouldn't trade it for the world I'm I'm would much rather be sniffling with flowers <laughs> so um we are going to walk around just a little bit here um I'm like I said sniffly but sleepy and like I said I kind of just wanted this to be a really chill trip for me um so I think we're gonna walk around head back to the main street get another coffee and maybe head home it's just really nice weather so I kind of just want to sit by a window or sit outside and that will be our trip so I will catch you guys at the next update On that note, I'm heading home. I sat out in that, oh my God. Okay, it's, the, it's another train. I sat in that cafe outside in the shade and then eventually the sun for like two hours. It was the perfect temperature. I feel so happy. I ran into a friend who I met in 2016 doing like a content creation contest and haven't really seen since and we just ran into each other and that was great um so and and that's like the last time i was here i also ran into someone at that cafe like it's just good vibes at that cafe i gotta say and the barista the owner is really nice um but anyway i could have absolutely done more throughout this entire trip i will link down below um the videos where i went to busan and gyeongju with the you know drive and trying to actually show you all the places you can go on a trip but for me this was just like low key let me see the blossoms let me enjoy the beautiful weather and clear air and it worked out really well for me so now i'm going to head home go back to seoul and seoul is also going to have gorgeous weather so um yeah i'm just very very pleased with my trip thank you for coming along as always 
Um, and thank you to the subscribers that said hi. I ran into like quite a few people on this trip. Everybody had the same idea. Um, so yeah, thank you as always for saying hi. And don't ever hesitate to. Um, definitely, I'm always down to say hey. God, I just wanna like curl up in the sun. I'm like a cat, it just felt so good. Um, so onto the train I go. Catch you guys in Seoul. Um, I don't know what these are, but these are very pretty as well. They smell really good. Catch you later, okay? Bye! <laughs>